Subscribe to WitchTube for latest tech related videos. In today's video, we'll talk about all that you need to know about the Google Assistant on the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Watch 5 Series smartwatches or literally any Google Wear a smartwatch. Plus, we'll test it out in real time. Now, if you use any older version of the Galaxy watches like the Watch 3 or the Watch Active 2, then don't you worry, I got you covered. There is a video linked at the end where I have shown you exactly how to get and use the Google Assistant on those old versions. Most of the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro should have the Assistant app pre-installed and ready to set up. In case if you don't for any reason due to the region or country then go into the play store of your watch and you should find the assistant app now one pro tip here is make sure you have auto updates turned on by going in the settings of the play store that way you get the latest version of the google assistant with that aside let me briefly talk about the setup process which starts by opening up the google assistant app by the way, you can go in the watch setting, advanced features, customize key and add assistant on the press and hold on the top right key. That way you can access the Google assistant promptly. Now when you press and hold the top right button for the first time, the watch will prompt to activate the Google assistant on your watch for the first time. When you click get started, it will prompt to open phone to activate. When you open the connected phone, which in my case is the Galaxy Z Flip 4, it will connect to the watch and prompt to activate the Google Assistant. After which just follow along and click next to all the prompt like agree to voice match. I would personally not allow to save audio despite it helps to improve voice technologies. After which turn on personal results like schedule, contacts and message and that's it, you're all set. Now the Google Assistant is able to talk back via the built-in speaker of this Galaxy Watch 5 Pro or the Watch 5. But in case if you are trying out this Google Assistant on any other Vera smartwatch which has a built-in speaker and your Google Assistant isn't able to talk back, then for the TalkBack to work on your Wear OS watch, you must have TalkBack 12.1 or newer version. So again, make sure that the auto updates are turned on. With all that done, let's start asking various questions to Google Assistant and check how it performs in real time. What's the current time in Calgary, Alberta? The time in Calgary, Canada is 12.19 p.m. What's the current weather like? Right now in Calgary, it's 18 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 20 and a low of 8. How far is moon from Earth? The moon is about 300 Who's the current Prime Minister of India? Narendra Modi is the Prime Minister of India. Multiply 25 by 25. The answer is 625. Divide that by 25. The answer is 25. Set a 5 second timer. 5 seconds. Remind me to do groceries tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'll remind you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Cancel that reminder. Tell me a joke. Here's a classic. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. Drive me to the nearest Tim Hortons. Sure, Tim Hortons. Check your screen. Head south on Brittlewood, way southwest. Who is better, Google Assistant or Siri? According to AC Central, the results for answering the simple questions correctly was Google at 76.57%, Alexa at 56.29% and Siri at 47.29%. Turn off office lights. Sorry, it looks like two lights aren't available right now. Sing me a song. Yes, I can sing. I like to help you, even if it's strange, so I sing. Send a text to Vidya. Subscribe now, it's free. Call Vidya. Calling Vidya. Work. Call Papa on WhatsApp. Sorry, I can't make calls with WhatsApp yet. Who's your boyfriend? Siri. Self destruct. Self destructing in 3, 2, 1. Actually, I think I'll stick around. 
Are you married? I'm happy to say I feel whole all on my own. Plus, I never have to share dessert. Do you speak Morse code? Let's see. This doesn't come up very often, so I might be rusty. Do you have an imagination? I'm imagining being covered in a pile of puppies. It's the cutest pile ever. What's the best pickup line? According to search results, the moon has less gravity than Earth. But I'd still fall for you there. Test. No one told me there would be a test. Is Santa Claus real? I believe in Santa. I admire his generosity and his ability to pull off head to toe velvet. What am I thinking right now? You're thinking about how pleasant it is to assist such a cool person. Oops, my bad. I just read my own mind. Give me a hug. Virtual hugs for you. Hope you feel better, Priyank. Do you party? I like to party. I really like birthday parties. Do you like Star Trek or Star Wars? The USS Enterprise. With Obi-Wan Kenobi at the helm. What's your shoe size? Can you rap? One, two, three, four, five. Pump up the energy, be alive. Assumed all I could do was yap. Never knew that I could even rap. Come on, my friend, clap along. This is for you, my new rap song. So from all my testings, I found that using Google Assistant on Galaxy Watch 5 is super easy, fast, reliable, and works like a charm every single time. It's getting pretty close to the Siri level experience on the Apple Watch. You can comment down below if you want to know anything else in case if I missed that in this video. Also be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out any upcoming videos. Check out this Watch 5 videos as I bet you'll find them helpful.